Hi friends! So I've been gone a while. Uh, I, and the reason is that I moved across the country. Um, I graduated college uh, December of 2021, and then uh, last week of January I received news that I would be moving to uh, Los Angeles, California within a month, and so I spent all of February uh, packing up my belongings and getting all my shit in order so that I could, uh, you know, move across the country. And the result of that move is that I obviously had to pack up all of my stationery. Um, I like purged, um, not a lot actually, uh, but enough. I got rid of some things that I had just been holding on to for a long time that I wasn't going to use. Um, I mostly gave stuff away to friends who were also into stationery. Um, and now that I, I've been in uh, LA for about a month now, um, but it's just been very chaotic. Uh, things have finally slowed down and are settling into a routine, but it just, it took a while. Uh, and so I still have all of my stationery boxed up. Um, there are a few items uh, that I'm like actively using that aren't in this box. And then there's a couple items that are in, just sort of, placed in another box sort of last minute because I was using them. Anyway, uh, <laughs> point being, uh, this is the majority, the vast majority of my stationery. Um, I don't know whether to call it like a stationery stash. I suppose that's appropriate. Um, this is just, you know, all of the notebooks and planners and miscellaneous things I have, but am not, uh, I guess, actively using. Um, that I'm holding on to in case I want to use them or like, you know, things I pull out and use like once a year or something. I don't know. Um, I am simultaneously pleased and disappointed uh, that all of my stationery fits into a single box. This is like a little, it's like an office box. Like, you know, in movies, whenever like someone gets fired and they pick up, you know, they put all their office supplies in a box and carry it out and they look all sad. Yeah, that's that's what this box is. Um, so it's not like a, like a large box. Um, and so that's good. <laughs> I know, um, I, I make a lot of jokes about like the sheer amount of stationery that I own. Um, and I think those are valid jokes because I am not pleased with like how I spend on stationery. And I think I do own too much relative to what I use and blah, blah, blah. I have a lot of thoughts and feelings about like consumerism uh, in the stationary community or among people who like this sort of stuff. Um, and and a lot of those thoughts and feelings are about me specifically. Anyway, uh, so I have a lot of thoughts and feelings about those things, but I'm not gonna, I clearly, as you can tell, am not uh, ready to articulate them for the internet. I thought I would have, now that I'm settled in uh, and stuff, I would go through all of the items in this box and, you know, talk a little bit about them and maybe it will help me learn uh, what stuff I need to let go of or what stuff I need to, like, use or, you know, that sort of thing. Um, slash hopefully it'll just be interesting. <laughs> I hope, anyway. Let's dive into it. Uh, so the first things actually weren't in this box, but they were on my desk and I threw them in. Um, I have two a6 Hobonichis. This is the A6 uh, English Hobonichi, and this is the Japanese version. Um, one of these, this one I think I will be using for time tracking. Uh, this other one had many guide grand plans for it, but it hasn't been used. Um, to accompany that, uh, those, I have two Hobonichi A6 stencils, um, or not stencils, what are these called? Uh, pencil boards. Then I have the two covers that accompany those notebooks. This is the Footprints cover, um, the Saul Lighter cover, and then this is the, it's like, Cat Over Conda cover. I hope I'm showing these things well. Um, oh, and within the Footprints cover, I have a Traveler's Notebook reusable sticker book um, that just has in the passport size, uh, you know, just random stickers. I've used a lot of them in here, actually, which is why the pages are so empty. Uh, this is a recent pur purchase. Um, it's just a blank A6 notebook. Uh, it's a Daiso notebook. 
Um, but it looks like the, I think they're called Apica or something. Um, there's like another, like a high-end stationery, Japanese stationery brand that has notebooks that look really similar to this. And so I got really excited in Daiso and bought it and then realized that that's not the brand. <laughs> um, no purpose for that. Uh, well, yeah, not, not really. Uh, this is my, these are my stickers. These are all of the like loose leaf stickers I own, like sticker sheets, um, for the most part anyway. Uh, yep. <laughs> this is one of three Hobonichi A6 memo books um, that again are supposed to accompany the A6 uh, Hobonichi Techos. Um, this one specifically was my 2022 goals notebook. Um, I'm no longer using it for that purpose. I'm not using it at all. Uh, I'm no longer keeping my goals in here. Um, I'm doing them digitally on my iPad, uh, which I hope to have a video up by the end of the month, uh, planning, like reviewing Q1 and planning for Q2. Um, so we'll see. Uh, <laughs> this is a, a Ziploc bag full of random super tips and some mild liners that I don't use. Um, I don't use these super tips, but I feel really bad just getting rid of them, slash, I always think that, like, I might end up using them eventually for, like, I don't know, if I get really into drawing randomly or something, I don't know. Um, I bought them thinking I would use them, like, highlighters, uh, and I, to, like, you know, as accent colors in my notebooks, and I just don't. Next up, uh, another Ziploc bag of random post-it notes. Ooh, okay. Um, these, another Ziploc bag featuring a fuck ton of envelopes. Sorry, cursing is a thing I do. Um, envelopes, and then some bill trackers. These are the half sheets for the Happy Planner. Take, like, note sheets, and then more note sheets. I own... Uh, some Happy Planner products over here. So I can continue to use these in here, um, but I got rid of the actual like half letter or like the half size or whatever um, notebook I had from Happy Planner, but I still have a bunch of the, the sheets. Um, this is an A5 uh, six ring binder. Um, yep. I used to journal in here pretty, I, this was my main journal for a while and I really liked it. Um, but I just haven't used it recently, um, but I, I archived the journal pages that I finished. <laughs> There's a blog of random shit, uh, like a hole punch and a mini stapler and the staples and some like Tombow. There's an eraser, binder clips, whatever. Um, oh god. Okay, so this is like hoarding tendency, <laughs> I feel like. Um, these are some mini happy planner sheets. Uh, like daily sheets and then I have some tool sheets in here like paper and then it's just a bunch of like I ripped these things Ooh, sorry I'm not in frame these three with the holes I ripped out of a notebook um, like a leather cover thing that I wasn't using uh, because I, I did I hated it but I it was a gift and I didn't want to get rid of the paper because the paper is like hand pressed or whatever like handmade um, and I don't know, I just felt bad, so I held on to it. And then these are the pages that I didn't use of a uh, Moleskine Expanded. And then this is just some uh, craft sheets for my A5 six ring binder. So there's that. I don't know when I will get around to using that paper, but I feel so bad just getting rid of it. So I'm just holding on to it as scrap paper. Um, these are two of the, uh, again, the memo books from Hobonichi. These are the A5 companion books. Um, one I was using for story notes um, pretty extensively, uh, but then I stopped because my system changed and I didn't, I got really annoyed with Hobonichi paper. Like it's so finicky uh, and fragile. It just takes a lot of, and like that's why people like it, and yet also why I hate it. It's why I like it and why I hate it. Um, so I don't know. So I have two of these. There's a third one somewhere. 
more. Um, this is the second half of the year for the Hobnichi Cousin of Ek. Um, obviously unused. Ooh. This is the Antiquarian sticker book. Uh, that giant, like, Victorian thing. This is like a birthday present. Um, really cool stickers. Haven't... I've used a few, obviously, but clearly haven't made a dent in this. Um, in part because it's just sort of... It's so large, it's kind of tough to pull out regularly. Um, this is a writing prompts book. <laughs> that was like five dollars at Target. I actually filled out some of the early ones uh, and I thought it was a really nice exercise. Um, I'm like a writer so I thought it was really nice actually even though they're sort of uh, cheesy. Um, so I might get back into this. Okay, getting deep in here. Uh, this is an A5, hope, uh, no, A5 Midori notebook in the grid. I was using this for a bunch of things on and off. Uh, for some reason I couldn't get the A5 size to work for me. This is a second one of those notebooks. Um, I was using this, I forgot what I was using this for, as like a photo book, um, but I didn't like it <laughs> after a couple, after like a week or two. Um, I was like, eh, this is not what I thought it was going to be, or it didn't work out how I thought it was going to. And now I do all of this digitally on my iPad, so I'll find something to use this for eventually. Um, here is a lined A5 Lidge Germ notebook. Um, I was using this to write a story. Uh, I was going to use it for NaNoWriMo, and I was going to handwrite. Um, but I, I fell off pretty quickly, um, but it was a nice experience and I will continue to use this and finish it eventually. Um, I'm more inclined, I think, to use the Lloyd's term and finish that than I am the Midori A5s, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, this is a Muji, I think, um, just undated monthly planner. Um, I have had this since like 2016. I no longer buy Muji products because uh, they are a little bit of a questionable company right now. <laughs> um, and I, I really like this. I just haven't had reason to use it, but also, I mean, I use some of the early months, but I don't want to show them. Um, so I haven't had reason to use it lately. I don't know. I've held on to it for literally years and I will continue to hold on to it, I think. Uh, this is the A5 Take a Note. Again, was originally using this as like a writing planner, um, a writing journal sort of thing. Uh, no longer doing that, have not yet found another purpose for it, uh, but we'll see. Um, there's a running theme here, which is that I bought a fuck ton of planners for 2022 that I didn't need and didn't use, and I kick myself for it every single day. <laughs> I'm not one of those people who can be like, oh, you know, I wanted it and it's beautiful and it's okay if I don't use it. It's like, I don't know, the experience or whatever. No, I am like annoyed that I have so much shit and I hope that like I can find a way to repurpose them just as notebooks um, and just ignore the dates in the future. This is a little um, pouch I got from Amazon ages ago, um, but it contains a bunch of a6 and passport size notebooks and like pocket notebooks so okay how best to do this <laughs> just a pile uh here are the other two a6 memo books that i mentioned before when i was using for my goals this was another photo book um idea like the a5 midori didn't end up liking it again i do all of this digitally now um I'll find. This is a half year stellarity, I should say. I used it upside down, which is why I'm holding it like this. Um, anyway, uh, hopefully we'll find something to do with that. Um, this is an A6 Midori in the grid. Um, this used to be my old time tracking system. I really liked it. I might go back to it. I tore out, as you can see, all of the pages. Um, it got water damaged pretty badly. And so I quit using it because I, I thought I could ignore the water damage, but I couldn't. It was too annoying. Um, so anyway, there's that. Uh, this is the Midori 
A6, one day per page. Uh, the only dated sections are the monthlies in the front, and then it's just this. This is like my first YouTube video, or the first stationary YouTube video ever. I was talking about how much I loved this, and I do love it. I do think it's amazing. Um, it just didn't work for time tracking, which is the thing I thought I was going to use it for. Yeah, um, I think I'm going to use it... So my current system in my A6 voyage term, is, which is just a blank notebook, um, like no doc grid or anything, it's literally just plain pages. Um, I use it like I make a daily page every day and then I do all of my story notes or any like random things I need to write down or feel the impulse to write down. They just all go in that notebook. Nothing is like compartmentalized anymore. Um, so I'm going to finish that pretty quickly. And so I think I might just move into this one, which again, I will also finish pretty quickly, even though it has 365 pages. Um, I use, I can use anywhere from like two to like 25 pages a day, <laughs> depending on how much I'm writing. So I think I might just like move into there, this later and try to ignore um, the lines. I, uh, I made so many attempts with this and so many different ideas after the time tracking thing didn't work. Um, but I just found, I did find the, the hours on the side really annoying or distracting. Anyway, so I don't know. I love this. I love Midori paper. I love this little notebook. I think it's so cute and perfect, but I just haven't been able to use it. Um, this is another A6 slash, it's not a true A6. It's like a pocket plus or whatever. Um, which term this time in the grid, uh, I will use this pretty soon, probably. Um, A6 is my size, is what I found. I strayed away from it to A5 a little bit ago, uh, but I've since returned home and I think I'm going to stay in this realm. Um, these are all of my unused uh, field notes. Um, so there's the Zion National Park one, which is like so cute. Again, these are from the National Park series. Uh, this is the Grand Canyon. And then these are... Uh, the like astronaut e ones. Oh, sorry, I'm holding so many things. Um, I went through a phase. I, I finished a bunch of these. I have a bunch of my used. The, I think it should be obvious. <laughs> this is my unused stationery. I have another box that's like notebooks and journals I finished. Um, and a, there's a there's a ton of these <laughs> because I went through a phase where I really really used them. And I think I'm gonna end up back in these if I continue with my current system, uh, which as I said is really working. Uh, this is another, or this is just a passport size traveler's notebook um, in the grid, unused, unopened. Uh, and then this is a passport size undated weekly insert. Um, because for a while I was using a passport size traveler's notebook. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Okay. Yeah, for a while I was using this. I really liked it, um, except for. Uh, as Lindsay Ellis, or no, not Lindsay Ellis, Lindsay Scribbles, excuse me, um, has recently discussed, it's really fucking annoying that these don't lie flat. Um, so I don't know, I used it for a while, but it, and I still, I really love the size, and I love, it like feels so good in your hand, and it's Midori paper and everything, like all the products feel nice, um, but I just, I don't know. It wasn't something I stuck to long term. And that's all that's in there. Next. Uh, this is a pocket moleskine uh, weekly planner um, that goes through 2022. Uh, so this is still good. Um, I might use this. Probably won't. I... <laughs> I was really influenced in a way that is shameful and embarrassing for me, um, but I basically watched a video from, I think her name is Sam Plans, um, where she had switched to a, this was like, this was like last year, 2021, like mid-year, um, she had switched to a pocket moleskin planner and was really liking it and it looked super cute and I was... I bought it instantly and then I later felt so stupid because I totally did not need um, another fucking planner. Uh, I did use it. The reason I was so easily swayed is because I was keeping track of a lot of, like, readings for classes, like, PDFs and, like, articles that I needed to read, um, and it worked really well for that and for, like, assignments, um, but I didn't use it for the entirety of that semester, so I used it for, like, a month or two. 
this um, is a Midori B6 Slim grid notebook. I was using this as my media journal, um, which I've explained before, uh, and <laughs> I found that I didn't like it uh, for the same reason that I didn't like the A6 version of it that I was keeping, and that's just that it's like... I have too much to write and the pages are too, like, it, they're like five millimeter grid. And so I was like, my handwriting is like much smaller than a five millimeter grid, but I was trying to like use the five millimeter grid like normally. And then I was just taking up a lot of pages to talk about like one thing because like a B6 slim is not much larger than an A6, especially when that B6 is like split for a five millimeter grid. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I got annoyed with it pretty quickly. Um, I will use it for something else, like time tracking or like, you know, my current planner system um, where I'm just shoving everything into one notebook. Because um, I, I really like it. I really love, I love Midori paper and like their products in general. And I really love um, the scrap of paper I put in the cover. So, I don't know, it's on the list. Uh, this is my commonplace notebook. Um, is it backwards? Where's my... No, it's just really thin. Uh, I just keep quotes and stuff in here. Um, and also, like, art that I like. I haven't, uh, used this since I moved, but I'm sure I'll get back to it. I have a lot of quotes and stuff to add. Um, I've just been really busy. Whew! Uh, I'm gonna backfill this because I also haven't touched this since I moved. Um, or since the end of 2021, um, but this was my, I can't show the actual pages, but it's, this is also Midori, it's a Midori datebook slash a Midori pocket diary, um, and it just has monthlies through 2022, um, and I use it to do, like, a highlight of the day and some, like, life tracking stuff, um, so I'm gonna backfill that. Uh, <laughs> you remember, again, from my first video, first stationary video, I bought this sort of on a whim, uh, from as like a birthday present. Um, it's a Chamoy River Paper Luddite Daily Planner. Um, and it looks like this. It actually has a great layout, but the notebook itself is like really weird. Um, it's like super bendable and flexible. It has like absolutely no structure to it. I don't use this. I won't use this. Sort of keep it on hand because occasionally I get the urge to like, I don't know, mess around with it. <laughs> Even though I know it won't ever work for me. Uh, okay, these are three, like, little notepads. Um, this is Midori. It's, like, a to-do list thing. Um, it has two colors. It's all cat-themed. It's really cute. I use this. I rip out pages and store them elsewhere, and then once I'm done with those pages, I rip out more. Uh, I use this just for, like, uh, journaling embellishments. And then this is a Rifle Paper Company notepad. I've used a lot of it, but you just can't tell because it's a notepad. Um, yeah, I really like this. I used the crap out of it for a period of time and haven't really touched it since, but I'll get back to it, I'm sure. I'll rediscover it at some point. I don't feel as bad holding on to, like, stuff like this versus, like, whole notebooks. <laughs> um, this was my old commonplace journal. Uh, it contains not only, like, quotes and stuff, but, like, if, like, someone gives me a compliment or, like, says something to me that, like, really sticks with me, I write it down or I used to write it down in here. Um, so it's just a really nice, like, walk down memory lane that's just entirely, uh, you know, it's, it's social things. So it's not just like, oh, I had a good day. It's like, my friend said X about me and I wanted to write it down because it made me feel good or whatever. Uh, these are two Hobonichi Weeks memo books. Um, as you can see, I bought those memo books in every size. Okay, this. <laughs> uh, these are sticker books. Um, and I don't have that many relative to a lot of people, and yet I still am, like, overwhelmed by the sheer amount of stuff in here. Um, there are, okay, it's not entirely sticker books. Oh, I forgot. This is another, um, I can't remember the brand for this. Okay, it's, I thought it was Yamamoto, but I wasn't sure. Um, this is an astrology or like, not astrology, it's just like a star, like a uh, constellations themed 
notebook. Uh, these are so good. I love the paper. I love the size. I love the covers are like a wax cover, but like it feels really nice and like ages really well. Um, so I've just been holding on to this. I will find a purpose for it. Uh, I love that little notebook. <laughs> um, these are washi flake stickers. These are stamp stickers, like vintage themed stamp stickers. Um, and what else? There's just random. These are Pizza John stickers from Pizza Miss um, from past years. Uh, this is a Tim Holtz, uh, like quotes, little notebook or sticker book. This is the farmhouse sticker book. Anyway, it's damaged. Um, I've used a lot of it though. I'll finish that up pretty quickly. Um, this is like a random envelope. These are like star stickers and some, there's like random bits of kits and some journaling prompt stickers. I don't know, random stuff. Um, a couple more sticker books. I don't feel like going through all of them. This is probably my favorite, uh, which I should take out and use. Um, but it's all like butterflies and insects and there's like really cool foiling on all of them. Or most of them anyway. They're really thick stickers. Um, but look at this page. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? I don't know. I, I don't have to um, I don't often have the urge to, like, buy sticker books. I kind of went through a Happy Planner phase a couple years ago, and so all of the, the Happy Planner sticker books I have are, like, old. And I just pull them out every once in a while to use them. <laughs> um, okay, this is the stuff that fell. This is a an undated dashboard layout Happy Planner um, in the classic Happy Planner size. Um, I'm glad I bought an undated version of the Happy Planner, uh, because I used it for a couple months and really liked it, uh, but it didn't stick. It, I don't know, I don't think discs are, like, for me, but I'm always, like, enchanted by the idea of discs. Um, so I don't know, I am gonna hold on to this, and the next time I get, like, a Happy Planner urge, I'm just gonna come back to it, and then inevitably realize that I am not a Happy Planner person, and then move on with my life. This is also from that period and it contains a bunch of like, uh, what are these called? Like add-ons, like add-on sheets that I bought. Um, I really use the heck out of these daily sheets. Um, and then there's just some blank ones. Um, there's some monthlies in the back that I don't use obviously. Yeah, uh, this is just an entire notebook of paper that I can use whenever. This is an Erin Condren notebook. It's their old notebook, so it has like very few pages slash I've ripped out quite a few. It's just lined. I bought it on my university campus because I was like, what? My school store sells Erin Condren? Um, and then used a little bit of it. <laughs> Um, I, one of the notebooks that I don't have in here is like a finished Erin Condren notebook that had more pages and I'm quite pleased with myself <laughs> that I finished it. And this is a tool notebook. Uh, this was a gift from my mom for Christmas and I really liked it slash it kind of annoys me how much space there is like the sheet size relative to how large this cover is um, and like I don't like the pin loop. Uh, yeah, again, I don't think discs are for me. I really like the idea of them. It just never quite works out. Um, but you know, I'm holding on to it just in case because I will inevitably again get the urge to come back to it. And then a ruler. Okay, I have a couple more things. This is my Hobonichi Weeks uh, that I was using as my main planner for a while. Um, I feel bad that I have not finished this or that I've not kept up with it. I might go back to it, you know, you never know. Um, but honestly, this kept me going and uh, got me through my final semester of college and was like essential. So you know what? I spent money on this that feels, which is technically wasted if I'm not gonna use all of it. And yet I feel like I got my money's worth. <laughs> um, 
This is a fucking mini happy planner I impulse bought like two weeks ago. I am so ashamed of myself. Um, this is a Leuchtturm A5 grid notebook in the soft cover, um, which I was using as my bullet journal before I swapped back to the A6 size, which I am much happier with. Um, but I'll end up using that. I actually love Leuchtturm, and I think I might just become like a Leuchtturm slash Midori person and eventually just get rid of everything else. But we'll see. This is a reusable sticker book. Um, I'm holding a whole bunch of stuff in my other hand, so. Ta-da! I just put random stickers in here. I use it pretty regularly. These are two undated planners. One's monthly, one weekly. Um, these were like $3 each at a Japanese stationery store in LA. Um, I went and was like completely blown away because it's literally just like jet pens but a store and I I could not resist. Um, so that's like a vertical weekly layout. And then there's like a bunch of notes pages in the back of this one that follow this monthly layout. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I regret having this because obviously I'm not using them and yet they were very cheap and I, I was weak. Uh, this is the Sufia uh, Kokoyo, Kokoyo? Uh, soft ring notebook, so ta-da, soft rings, and it has like a really nice four millimeter grid. I will use this um, soon-ish, maybe. Uh, this is a Rifle Paper Co. just like notebook um, with lined pages. I used, I used this like every single day for like two months or something. Um, this has gone through, no, this has gone through a lot of iterations. For a while it was like a story notes notebook and then it became my like cash-all, like uh, what I called like my bullshit notebook. Um, but now my bullshit notebook has been combined with my planner. So I don't know, I love this. I love this design, I love this color. I will come back to it eventually. The other thing to show is this. Uh, this is a Hobonichi cover with the Hobonichi cover on cover. Uh, the Seasons of Hope has my A5 Hobonichi Cousin of Ek, which I was using for daily journaling and also time tracking, uh, but that's all gone digital now in my iPad, um, and I'm very happy with it, so kind of bummed that I bought this. I will probably sell the cover um, and also the second half of the year if anybody wants it at some point, um, but you know, for now, I'm just holding on to it. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, that's everything. Um, I, I want to be really, like, cinematic and, like, com like pile everything back into the box, but I'm not going to do that. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, uh, what the conclusion to this video is, other than I own a lot of stuff and a lot fits in this box, and I'm not super happy that I own so much shit. And yet, I have it, so I just gotta deal with it, and, you know, try not to buy too much more. Uh, yep, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>